What's up, guys? Dark Sage here, and uh, honestly, I'm really tired. I'm really, really tired. It's been a long week of work. I'm out of school. Just a lot of stress. But at least we got a new Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse trailer out, huh? Yay? So what y'all guys didn't know, I'm a very big Dragon Ball Z fan. Super nerd about it. Favorite anime. Probably my favorite cartoon. And I've day near played every game. I played this one. This one. Even the first Xenoverse. Classics in my opinion. Oh, just so amazing. And then... Okay, so you guys get it. I've played like almost every Dragon Ball Z game. I used to have a PS2, obviously. And I've had the Dragon Ball Z games on there. Sadly like sagas. But I digress. It's time to talk about Xenoverse 2 in a trailer that just came out. So basically what Xenoverse 1 was, it was kind of about these two figures that go into Dragon Ball Z history. You know, basically the main plots of the, of the show, like the Frieza saga, Cell saga, and Majin Buu saga. They go into these plots in the history and they change history. Like you, as your creative character, either as a Saiyan, Majin, or Namekian, or Frieza. What is Frieza? You create your character, you do these things, you level up, you power up. It's a, it's a very simplistic RPG. The elements don't go too deep. The elements are pretty easy. It's simple to get into. And the mechanics, they're all right at best. I give the game Xenoverse a weak B minus to a strong C plus because the game doesn't have much replayability after you beat it, unless you want to do another race but i mean it gets boring after a while unless you have a friend to play with to try and do missions together and stuff like that or to go against but i mean either way it still gets boring after a short while so the game doesn't have long longevity so with the xenoverse 2 trailer it looks like the hub world is going to be bigger it looks very beautiful it looks larger but basically it looks like the same game over i mean history looks like it's being rewritten you create a character you go back in time and say the dragon ball z past the only new things that I could see from this trailer is it had, it had more movie villains or more movie sagas like Lord Slug, Bardock's movie, which was in the first game, Turles from the Tree of Might movie, and Future Trunks from the TV special. After that, you guys, this trailer doesn't look like it's really doing much after that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still buying this game because one, it's Dragon Ball Z and I don't have no Dragon Ball Z game on PS4, but we're just going to see where it goes. I get the trailer. Uh, uh, it really doesn't do much for me, honestly. Well, those are my thoughts on the trailer. Now, let me show you this new package I got, which is a Funko Pop. You guys probably thought I was done with pop videos. No, I'm not. So here's my package. I'm about to open some of this package with a screwdriver. I kind of pre-opened it already. I know it's in the package already, but... I just want to open it on film because I feel like I deserve this package basically. It's it's pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome pop. And screw all you guys that say, why is he opening this with a screwdriver? Get it? Because screw you because that's what you do with a screwdriver. I'm going to just go back to opening this package. Oh, oh man. Oh man. The, the packaging looks nice. The, the packaging looks nice. It looks like this bad boy has not been damaged. What I got is the Golden Freezer from Resurrection F, obviously from the shirt I'm wearing, the Dragon Ball Z movie, where uh, Frieza comes back, he's resurrected, Resurrection F, <laughs> 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 he fights the Z-Warriors again in this, and he, they have an arc of it in Dragon Ball Super, but I'm not caught up with it, but I'm gonna catch up with it, it's a 2015 summer convention exclusive, I'm a broke college student, I'm not gonna be able to go to San Diego, wherever this was, I bought this off of eBay, I had a $50 off a $25 purchase coupon, this was $30, and so far I have not paid over $20 for a pop yet, this looks really beautiful, this looks really beautiful, number 47 in the animation set, and he goes along with my other Dragon Ball Z pops right here, and well he just, he just looks real nice, now I gotta get the regular freezer, and I gotta get Cell, and I also gotta get black hair Goku. But he's like 40 bucks. I gotta get Super Saiyan God Goku. And he's like 40 bucks. I gotta get Red Eye Frieza. And he's like 40 bucks. All right, you guys. I just really thought about how broke I am. And uh, I guess I'll end the video there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought. I'll 
see you guys later. I'll see you later. Bye.